Hello everyone, welcome to the Plum Installation Tutorial. In this issue, we are talking about the M-Series Multifunctional Roof Bracket. First of all, let's take a look at all the parts. It is composed of two vertical rods and five horizontal rods. Then I will start with our vertical bar. Both vertical and horizontal rods have certain functions, tell you how its function is used. In addition, let's look at the overall details. Let's start with the vertical bar. Let's start with the process. All our parts, all CNC engraved. All machined. Everyone look at its details. Plum's logo. This is not a batch, this is carved out. Very textured. Any process whether you sheet metal or not, molds or not, absolutely no such texture. Everyone look at its sense of stitching. It also has a very strong sense of mechanical splicing. That in addition to our top and side respectively to give you this expansion slot. This expansion slot can go to the top to fix a variety of things. Our factory is equipped with two longitudinal rods for everyone, separate with four fixed modules, can fix the rope. Everyone just needs to put it in from the position of this slide slot. Put it in. Then slide to the position we want. Just make a fix. One rod has four. What about this decorative panel? The role is to connect with the body and luggage rack. It is very strong, because this plate is also CNC machined from pure aluminum. Then we look at the whole two longitudinal rods, the Plum logo and the M1 series logo. Very textured. Our five crossbars. Each crossbar end is equipped with a locking mechanism on each side. The outermost is the control slide module. This above is to control the length of the crossbar. Then why does it implement length changes? It is because the roof platform has to achieve the function of closing and opening. Then usually when we are in the city. When there are no travel plans, if you turn it on, it will affect the opening of our sunroof. Defender's model is wide in front and narrow in the back. If it can't implement the length change, the crossbar is not sliding back and forth. So we have designed a structure for this. Open also can always put all five red paste behind our. Very beautiful. Whether it is open or closed, we look perfect from above in this case. Very perfect. It is easy to install but we still have to turn to professional modification agencies to install. By the time this product is shipped, everyone just needs to fix the two longitudinal rods to the roof of the car, then our crossbar to our vertical bar on top of it. Then the next installation. Next we start assembling. After opening the box, arrange it like this. Different front, back and left. Products with the M1 logo on them are the front ones. The Plum logo is mounted on the back of the luggage rack. There is a slot in this position, which is the left side of the vehicle. This gap is on the left side of the car.
After the vertical rod is put on, this is a positioning slot. This side is neat. There is another differentiation of a position. Short of this place is facing backwards. The long side is facing forward. People do not go to take the umbrella. This crossbar. There is also a distinction between a position, because our luggage racket is wide in front and narrow at the back. You can see that this accessory is also wide in front and narrow at the back. This front side is wide. The first crossbar has an adhesive pad. The back of the crossbar is without the rubber pad. Here we start to assemble our luggage rack. Remove the longitudinal rod on these two screws to remove. This side of the narrow back. Then install the upper crossbar. Need to distinguish between before and after, cannot be installed incorrectly. The knob is facing backwards when installed. The middle piece is wide at the front and narrow at the back. First put the more modest side in. Then put in the other side. Move forward as a whole after completion. The rest of the installation is the same. Now we have these five crossbars installed. Screw on the side to prevent the crossbar from falling. Before installing the luggage rack, remove the original luggage rack first. After the cover is removed, the original car has six screws removed. Installation of plumb luggage rack. First install the base plate on the roof of the car. To go to a location on the original car. You can see that we have played a good sealant. In our packaging factory equipped with sealant, 
but may be removed by customs when sending international courier. The other side of our original original this location. This rubber pad is not damaged. But inside our package there will also be an adhesive pad. What is this coach for? If the original car is uneven after installation, you can use the rubber pad to adjust. As you can see, let's go put it in now. In the package there are such screws. This base plate screws, installed in the original location of the car. There are a total of five screws. Now that we have it installed. Once again. Before installing the longitudinal rod, you need to apply sealant. If we match the sealant was confiscated, you can go to the store to buy. After the base plate is installed, then install the accessories at both ends of the luggage rack. Before this, we have distinguished this. There is another location of distinction. We are at the bottom of this. There is a left front a logo. The front of this is mounted to this position. Another one with the plum logo mounted on the back. This position. A very obvious position of distinction. With the slot is the back, without the slot is the front. The most front is the M8 screw. The other one we found is particularly long. Installed in this position. Let's go tighten this screw. The same installation is done in the back. The left side of our base is installed to complete. The other side of the installation method is the same. After the front and rear bases are installed, install the middle base. The middle of the bracket is also divided into left and right. The bracket will have R and L. The screws are in the bag just now. 
One M6 screw. After installation, tighten the screws. Now, all brackets are installed. Next, install the rest. When people adjust the gap, if they can't adjust. Loosen the knob of the middle crossbar. Make it movable. Oh. Then go back and adjust. Now install the reinforcement bracket. It is mounted to this position. Use the factory supplied screws. The screws of the luggage rack in the package. Short screws, mounted on the other side of the reinforcement bracket for fixing. All four corners have reinforced brackets. You can see this position. Tighten with longer screws. There are three types of screws in the package. One kind is the shortest. One of the longest, and another. The four corners of the luggage rack are the same installation, the same screws. In addition, after installing all the screws, In this position, this bracket, there are also two screws on the back. Use the shortest screws. The other side is installed in the same way. As you can see, we now have the entire luggage rack installed. I'll tell you what this knob is for. This knob in the middle of us is to fix this crossbar left and right direction of movement. This knob on our side is to fix the front and rear direction of the movement of the crossbar. Details of the installation again. The first is the bottom of the bottom plate under the screw holes, be sure to play sealant. The second is that the bracket has a distinction between left and right, installation should pay attention to. The third is the crossbar also distinguishes between front and back, this position is wide in front and narrow behind. After the installation of the luggage rack is wide in front and narrow in the back. If you install the opposite. Will become wide at the back and narrow at the front. It won't fit. All fixed brackets are distinguished between left and right. Screws are screwed from the inside. Another point is the last point. 
This crossbar at the front. Rubber pad underneath. It is to prevent the original sunroof from scratching the luggage rack. So that this crossbar also need to pay attention to a little. Installed in the first. Finally we tighten all the knobs. Prevention of movement. You can see this inside our box. Is mounted to the side. The roll of fixed rope. Screw it tight. Adjust to the position you need. The other one is used on the luggage rack crossbar. After we knob on, it can be drawn to any position we want, then lock it down. Then move the rest. You can see a location line here. This is the line of our crossbar evenly distributed. You can take a look at it.